Welcome to the 35th episode of the Can Learn Library here at the North Battleford Library. As I was debating what to do for this week's episode, I had a look at the Dietitians of Saskatchewan's PDF and thought, what about a Bannock burger? So it is making the Bannock and frying the burgers and putting them together. I've never made Bannock before and this recipe asks for oatmeal as well. So I'm game to try it. I looked at the burger ingredients and just adjusted it a little, adding an egg and oatmeal to help bind the burgers. To make this, it says it takes about 50 minutes and it makes four servings and you could serve it with a salad. Um, so these are the ingredients that you're gonna need to make the bannock. These are the ingredients that you will need to make the bannock. You need three cups of flour, a cup and a half of oatmeal, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of baking powder, one third of a cup vegetable oil, and a cup and a half of milk. And you're going to need a cookie sheet and a bowl and a spoon. So now comes the fun part. We will make it. To make your burger, I'm going to take a pound of hamburger, one egg, half a cup of oatmeal, and a quarter cup of onions, and I'm going to mix that together and make my patties. Now, they suggest uh, using a, uh, what they call a corn salsa, and for that, this is where we're going to take a cup of kernel corn uh, and it's drained and two tablespoons of white or green onion chopped, a teaspoon of chili powder and some salt and pepper. And if you want to, if you have some lettuce and a tomato that can go on your uh, burger when we're all done. So now we're going to um, make the burgers up. Okay, um, my little uh, excerpt where I was showing you how to make the bannock got not filmed somehow, so I'll just go over with you. Uh, we preheated the oven to 400 degrees, then we measured the flour, oatmeal, baking powder, and salt in a mixing bowl, and we stirred it. Then we added the vegetable oil and milk and I mixed until smooth. And then the next part, I'm just going to connect this with that and hopefully it works. About that, it stopped for some reason. Okay, so we'll get it onto here and it says to be about an inch thick. So oh, I still got crumblies even with that extra milk. Okay. And it seems to be about an inch high. So I'm hoping I can incorporate some of this drier stuff. I think if I was to make it again, I don't know if I would put quite that much oatmeal. Okay, well, I'll put in what's, um, about an inch high, so we'll press it in here, and I'm hoping that's about an inch, we'll put it in here, this is kind of what it looks like here. I left some of my dry crumblies because I didn't know what would happen. So now we'll bake this for 15 to 20 minutes. And let's hope it turns out okay. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna just put our burger together. I've washed my hands so they're nice and clean. 
and so I'm going to put the meat into here. We're going to mix our egg because that's what binds it. I'm going to put oatmeal. I don't know if I should be putting more oatmeal. Oh well. Okay, and we've got our onion here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Now, if you don't have any onions, but you do have a dry onion soup mix, that works really good too. And it gives a nice flavor to your, I know I've done it in a pinch when all of a sudden I want to do something and I don't have onions. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna just mix this up. And it says to make four patties with this. And we're going to cook it over medium heat for about six minutes on each side until cooked through. Sometimes I tend to overcook mine, so mine might be cooking a little bit longer because, I don't know, I guess I've always been afraid of uh, underdone meat and don't want anybody to be sick. Okay, so I will cook these and I'll get back to you Right now, the bannock is still cooking in the oven. So um, put these together and fry them, and then I'll show you what the final product looks like for the bannock. Well, this is how the bannock turned out. Um, where the meat is here, this I cut one of these squares in half, and it seems not too bad. Otherwise, I found they had said to, it's just kind of thick when you put that, the burger, and another piece. So I did that, and I made my corn salsa. So I'm going to add that on, but I just want to show you, I'm a little disappointed because um, this, uh, it was really crumbly. Like it's either too much um, oatmeal or not enough liquids. But I think if I was to do this again, I would definitely use maybe a third of the oatmeal. I think it was just too much. So we'll add this and see what this kind of looks like. You can add tomatoes and lettuce. And you've got yourself a Bannock burger. And if things don't turn out, you try a different recipe. So that's all the time we have left today for the Can Learn Library. See you next time. Take care.